Hey guys, Mason here with a proper setup for the first time ever. And I'm a little shook. Yeah. <laughs> so long story short, I got a tripod for my phone and my ring light kind of sits nicely on there. So we have like all this free space and it's really exciting. But enough of that. So today's video, I'm not quite sure yet what to call it, but I know exactly what I have in mind planned for today. <laughs> I know I seem a little awkward. I just keep like, oh, okay. So I have some new stuff that I got and we're going to work with some old stuff that I've had. And first I'd like to highlight two new for me things that we're going to be working with today. We have the Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette, which I just got and it's stunning. Let me see. There we go. Look how pretty that is. And then we have the KVD Edge of Reality palette, which is also another really pretty palette as well and they were both on sale at Ulta and they were two that I wanted but I had taken a little break from like extremely buying makeup so here they are now because they were on sale all right so I'm gonna be doing a really cool eye look with some extra little fun things and we're gonna have fun with it and I think it's gonna be really cohesive once it's all together so let's get to it and start this look okie dokie now, first of all, we want to start with a nice base color for my crease. So I think what we're going to do, let me get this brush out of this palette, is after we put on primer, we're going to take Antidote from the Stone Vibes palette, which is, let me see if I can get it to focus without being so bright. <laughs> this one right here. We're going to take my beloved Sephora Collection makeup tape. We're going to get that nice angle going on each eye. Now on to primer. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer Mini and patting that on with my fingers. Okie dokes. So now we're going to take a fluffy brush like this. That's for the crease probably. And <laughs> the Ciate London Extraordinary Powder, which is a translucent setting powder. And I'm going to set my primer. And we'll set that aside for later. So as I said, we're going to go into the Stone the Vibes palette and take the shade right here called Antidote. And I'm going to grab a shadow brush. And we're going to take that and start building the crease up. So I'm going to start at the edge and bring it around. Ooh, this is actually quite nice. I was honestly scared this wasn't going to be that great of a palette, but so far so good. And at the same time, I'm going to grab a blending brush. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and I'm going to do that to the other eye. The first color is done. Let's go to the next one. So for the next one, I think we're going to dig into the Edge of Reality palette. And I really don't know what the shade names are because they're on the back since this is a fully recyclable palette. But we're going to take this taupey shade right here. It's just the slightest hint of shadow. And we're going to blend that out. All right. Now we're going to get into some fun stuff. So I'm going to be dipping into my Viseart Editorial Brights palette right here. And I'm going to be taking this purple shade. And we're going to start patting that and building that. Oh, wrong eye. Oh. Oh. We're going to start building that on the outer crease. So... I'm bringing it slightly above the crease as well to give my eyes a bit of a larger effect. Kind of bringing that into a slight wing. 
and then I'm gonna bring it a little bit through to the inner crease I mean inner corner excuse me all right and we're gonna take that blending brush again and slightly blend that out especially on the inner corner a little bit in there and then the other side next we are going to move on to another color all right so we're gonna dip into this tealy blue right here because i didn't really explain it before but we're going for kind of a night sky type of look today so into the tealy blue and then that's going to go in the middle of the eye and fade into the purple and then bring it up to the crease and then bring that through there and through there. So now we're going to go back into the Viseart one final time. And we're going to take the bright yellow shade and put that slightly next to the blue. And then you'll see the nice little gradient. Now we're going to touch up all the other colors and start blending those together. And I'm going to take a clean shadow brush and just slightly blend now the rest of the eye stuff that i have planned is for after foundation and such is on so time for my favorite part oh god take off my makeup tape oh god now let's clean up that fallout actually i did lie we have to add a glitter to top i'm sorry i'm still dying um <laughs> a glitter topper to I definitely think we're going to use this a little bit right here on the lower outer corner once I have my foundation on. But what to top with? I kind of am feeling trying one of the glitter shades from the Urban Decay. How about right here, Tiger's Eye? We can try that. Ooh, that's super pretty. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> as long as it performs well, and I'm gonna just... Oh, okay. Urban Decay, I see you. I see you, Urban Decay. Just bring that in the middle a little bit. Very creamy. All right. And I'm going to blend that out a little bit with my finger. So I'm going to take my pinky a little bit and just slightly blend out the edges of this. And then there's just a teensy bit of fallout underneath. All right. We'll do something with the inner corner then as well. But I'm going to go wet my makeup sponge. Alrighty, guys. I am back with a wet beauty blender slash makeup sponge. It's not beauty blender brand. However, let's work on this. So I finally got a full size of NYX's Marshmallow Primer. It is a lot of fun. It smells good. And it works really well. So I'm going to rub this all over my face. And it looks like marshmallow, um, that marshmallow stuff, you know, <laughs> marshmallow fluff before you start rubbing it in. <laughs> For foundation today, I'm going to be using my NARS Sheer Radiant, I think it's called, Sheer Glow Foundation in Mont Blanc. And I'm going to be taking my sponge to apply... That looks really good with this primer. Now for my first concealer, I'm going to be using the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in shade 
light two, which is vanilla. Is that the color? Some of my acne spots that are healing very well, thanks to my use of Truly Beauty. And quick little shout out to them because I am an ambassador and their products are amazing. So if you'd like 20% off of Truly Beauty each time you purchase, click, click the link in the description and you will get 20% off each time you order directly from their website and I get a little commission. And then we'll top everything else off with the ColourPop concealer and blend. Now time for a little creme contour. We're gonna be taking my favorite creme contour palette or the only one that I can find, which is by e.l.f. I like to use a mix of these three shades right here because this, can you see that on my pale face? It would not work. So I'm taking a brush like this, kind of dipping into all three shades and oh, I just hit pan. And we'll blend that out and then use concealer. Now for me personally, I don't get too picky about perfecting my contour because that's why concealer exists. So I do my best with it. Now to conceal this hot mess, we're gonna be using the No Filter Concealer by ColourPop in shade Fair 02. Cause I never really talk on a lot of my videos at the time I'm working because of my chronic pain and all that good stuff. So we're gonna sculpt with the concealer as well. I don't know if anybody else does that. I really don't watch that many beauty videos. I kind of just figure things out along the way, you know? And I have a very large arts background, like fine arts. So those two come hand in hand together and blend it all out. Now let's move on to setting powder. Okay, <laughs> next on to touching up the brows. I'm gonna be taking the Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Brow Pencil, which I think is fabulous. One brow down. My brows are now finished and spooled out. To set my brows, I'm gonna be using NYX's Control Freak Clear Brow Gel. And quite honestly, I've used this for my lashes as well, for blending lashes with um, false eyelashes. On to eyeliner. So I'm going to be taking my House Labs first. This is Liquid Eyeliner in the color Punk, I believe. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to make some wings. Okay. So, so far we have our wing done. Now, before I move on to anything else, I'm gonna put on my false lashes. And I also have some really cool face gems I wanna use today. So, the false lashes, I'm gonna be using our Kiss Lash Couture Matte Black. And these are a foaming collection. This is the Matte Sheer. So I'm gonna cut these to fit my eyes. And I'm gonna be using my glue from Kiss, which is the Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. So 
So lashes are on. They're really, really pretty. I really like them. So before we do anything more fun with my eyes and then finish my cheeks and put on a lip, we're going to add some faux freckles. And this is ColourPop's freckle pen in the shade Soft Brown. Put this upside down. Sorry. So what I do with this <laughs> is I do a varying degree of soft and hard freckles soft being very lightly on my face and i kind of work as quick as i can and just to kind of make a little bit of a random pattern it's really fun do a couple on the nose and then what i do is i pack them quickly with my finger and then that makes them a little more blended in and then they're a little softer so after a little mishap where my phone decided to die, even though it was plugged in, let's finish this look. Have some face gems from Lunatics. They're cosmic crystals. And I think we're going to place some of these on my eye, around my eye, all that fun stuff. I'm actually going to take some tweezers for eyelashes to help put these on. So I'm going to take these ones on the edge. And I'm gonna place those somewhere on my eye. Probably on my brow bone, I'm thinking. I like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. And then I think I'm gonna take the pearls and then put those under here on each side. I'm gonna put that underneath my wing. That's really cool, you guys. Perfection. So for under eye, I was looking at two shades. So I would like, I think, to do this rose gold or this really pretty purple. The rose gold is Meditate and the purple is called Vibes. I think we're going to go with vibes on the inner. I'm going to go into the KVD for the outer corner. And then the other side, that's a really pretty color. In the KVD, I'm going to take this really, really pretty darkish blackish blue. So there's that a little messed up but you know what it happens now on to cheeks so for blush we're gonna go into this physicians formula palette right here and i believe i'm going to go with the shade right here which is called wildflower a little bit on the nose and blend that out and then we're gonna bronze and for that, I'm taking the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow, and I'm using the bronzing shade. Okay, and highlight. And for that, I'm taking a Becca Highlighter Rest in Peace in the color Pearl, which looks like this. And then lastly, since I'm not using setting spray, since I usually take my makeup off about within the hour of finishing because I'm at home and my pain, but um, we're going to be using this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Visionary. And all right, you guys, this is the finished look. And I really absolutely love it. <laughs> it turned out super cool. I mean, the color, the contrast, it's really interesting, especially for me. I love the face gems and I love everything about it, mostly. So two thumbs up. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so it can be your friend and so can I. Also, hit that ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding bell 
to get notifications as to, as to when I'll be posting next. Sorry, I'm getting so tired. Also hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think about this look. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!